this. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I watched Avengers Endgame. This will be a spoiler review. Um, I made another video with a spoiler-free um, content. This is not going to be that. I'm going to spoil the movie. So, last chance. Boom, boom, boom. Like my edits, because I don't have edits. Uh, all right. Your spoiler review. <laughs> Avengers in game. Black Widow dies. Um, her and Clint have a whole fight for the Soul Stone. Um, like, oh, it's gonna be me. No, it's gonna be me. It should have been me. Do you have a family? Obviously, it's gonna be Black Widow. <laughs> she has Hulk. Um, the spoiler: the trailers are a lie. The Hulk is in every one of those trailers. Um, that one trailer where, oh my God, hold up. The one trailer where they're. They all run outside there in the yard. They're looking up. They're looking at um Captain Marvel. I'm not going to blow my nose, I promise you. <laughs> They're looking at Captain Marvel bringing Tony back. Very beginning of the movie. Almost the very beginning. The very beginning. They show um what happens to Hawkeye. And it's like, wow, that's sad. <laughs> so that's, 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 that's what we're going to do. That's how we're going to start this. Okay. Okay, I, 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 I see you, Peter, Peter Fig, the Russo Bros. I see you. Okay, it's immediate sadness, um, because it just comes on like there, there's no, no, no intro, no nothing. So it goes from previews to movie. <laughs> so sitting there like, Ugh, play the movie. I was like, what is this? Oh shit, this is the movie. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I just want to tell also, this is a time travel movie. Um, it's funny, it's so funny when movies do this shit where, like, they name the genre that they're in. Because, like, they sat there, it was like, are you trying to tell me that your whole play is the basis of Back to the Future? And then Ant-Man was like, no, it was. And then they start naming, like, Start getting deep with it. Like if you go to the past and change something, that would create a whole new present. It wouldn't affect your current present that you're in right now. It just create a whole new timeline. And it's like, y'all really get deep with this shit. It's a time travel movie. <laughs> and they start naming like all the time travel movies and stuff, like Time Cop, Time Cop Two. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, yeah, and then dude was like. So Back to the Future is it's a complete fucking lie. <laughs> There's cussing in this movie, and I love it. Um, and all the stuff that people I, on the internet spoil, they spoil some weird stuff. Like, there's so much stuff to spoil from this movie. It's crazy. Um, but fast forward, just to break off individual characters, um, Captain America got what he wanted, and it's, it was beautiful, his ending. Um, he... Literally passed the mantle to Falcon. Um, he gave him a shield. Which, it's like, how do you get that? But it's like, I'm sure there were a couple extra somewhere. And then, like, he goes back through time to, like, be with Peggy. So, it's like, damn. Like, his whole story, every movie Captain America was in was like, oh, I'm a fish out of water. Like, uh, he uses old terminology. Oh, uh, he's just this old guy in a new world. And now he got to go back to be in his actual world. Like, it's, it's so... It was a beautiful moment. Um, and he's a pretty good looking old guy. Like, they, they aged him up. Like, it was so dope. Um, I don't think they're going to do anything with Falcon as Captain America. I think he might just pop in back and forth. I don't think he's going to get a solo movie. Um, Clint got his family back, obviously. Um, like, it worked. They were in the one million. And it was so funny to see Strange and, like, tell Tony. Because he was like, dude, if I tell you, it's not going to happen. And then he started losing hope. And he, <laughs> Dr. Strange was like, he's like, ah! <laughs> like, it was so dope. And the scene with um, uh, Captain America, like, they, like Thanos, they're fighting Thanos. Because it's a time travel movie. And they figure it out. But I didn't like how they did it. Like... It's all based on Nebula. She was like the key between the two links because they figured out how to control 
the quantum realm as far as like guide themselves through it and that's how they're able to go back through time so when they do it like they have to go back to try to get all the infinity stones but then they also realize you gotta put those stones back because if you don't it's gonna be like how many stones is it <laughs> Uh, let's see, count my knuckles. One, two, three, four, five. Is it five or is it six? Whatever. There'll be five or six different timelines. And you can't have that. So, um, yeah. And then, I don't know. I'm getting tired of talking about this. <laughs> but it's so dope to see, um, Thanos come back and just whoop they ass bro like no stones just beat the hell out of everybody captain marvel came late as hell she was in like three scenes totally useless there was no point of captain marvel to be in this movie she got her ass whooped too <laughs> and then cap came he started wielding um thor's hammer i was like oh my god he's worthy it's so dope man and then thor was like i know it <laughs> thor by the way who's totally the big lebowski Totally the dude. It's so funny. And then Rock, Rocket told me, you look like melted ice cream. Like, Thor got fat. That's why he wasn't in the trailers. Like, that would have been a hella spoiler. Thor got fat. He was big the whole movie. Like, it wasn't like a... He could just put on his clothes and then he's thin again. Like, no. <laughs> like, that's, it was so funny. Um, Bruce figured out how to be the Hulk the whole time and still have his consciousness. Um... Um, that's pretty much it. Tony Stark does die, but that didn't make me sad. I really didn't give a fuck. I didn't care for Tony at all. There was one dude, you know, I didn't know who he was. Yeah, I'm gonna have to watch a video on that. But yeah, this is your spoiler review. It's an amazing movie. I say you definitely go watch it. People about to overhype everything now. I don't think it's gonna be that deep. We just need to see. What happens with Spider-Man and then going forward. And hopefully they do integrate the TV shows. Because that'd be amazing. Because there's so much. And the shows actually mention the movies. So. At least the New York stuff. But yeah. Endgame is amazing. 